Hello everyone, it's Magazine Fjord and today I will show you how to bypass Google account on the newest device, Galaxy S8 Plus. It's in Lithuanian language. Now I s But I will show you the way um, that, that the improvement that this method doesn't work with the um, with the real term. There is only one method you can do is to flash the firmware. So first of all, let's so make sure that you install a latest um, latest all um, how to say. Make sure that you install latest Samsung USB drivers. Okay. So here we are. We have the real term and. Um, you can see it's in Lithuanian that we need to confirm the model to the Google account. So you see nine five one. So for example, let's check. Okay. So we connect it. Make sure you go to Google Device, Device Manager. So once you're in device manager, make sure that some that you go to portable devices and select the Galaxy S8 Plus, and we can see port number two. So make sure that when you open, you tick half the plugs, then you go to number to port and then click for two, click change, and then do a send. And now you will put some comments. Okay, so there is the first comment. It's like this. Then you click send. STY. Well, it shows me that something problem. So make sure to do again. So go to real term, and then just make sure you open as administrator. Okay, so once again half double port number four. Very interestingly, but let's let's see what happens if we just put the codes. Okay, so now it worked, even though it showed port number two, but when there was port number four, it shows that it's working because it shows okay. So the next point is just a second. Now I will put another code. So here, and this is the number. So just send. And look, it's ringing. But the only problem here is that you don't have any choice here. Nothing. Just, it just calls. And Bluetooth. Nothing you can do to make, to get into browser or notepad on, or website, or, or even you cannot create a contact. You just go back. So nothing can be done here. You see, nothing is done. So still you're on here. So only one method you can do here is through Odin. We go into Odin. Okay, and now we have to, or we see the port number four. So with the Odin, you also can check the port number. Now we have to add Okay, so uh, just a second. So once you download uh, from some mobile the, the the flash, just have to open that and just put onto desktop. Put all the files just in one folder and just wait. So make sure that before you do that, you install all. Samsung USB drivers and you can uh, find it on my website so um, or you can just some type on Google Samsung USB phone or just Samsung USB driver so here we are either we go here you can see Samsung USB driver for mobile phones also make sure that you install real term 
number two and or number three but with number three i have some bugs and errors coming so i suggest to install samsung real term number two and you can get to my when you click on my youtube you can see the link to the blog and downloads especially click on downloads and just uh, install so basically but you can also uh, install it here okay on samsung firmware you just click on make sure that you register and then log in because anyway you will not be able to to download and download the firmware so you can see galaxy s8 and this is my version just click search you see here and then select your country for example um, like for me it's baltics so i just click on baltics then uh, click for the latest one so for example this one and uh, okay we have here server maintenance but uh, just click regular download make sure that everything is okay latest information update security patch level you can see it's quite new just click regular download then as i mentioned you have to log in because otherwise uh, you will not be able to download so make sure that you download these things Okay, so I think it's already here. Now go to desktop and okay, mm, just a second. Which one of them I should select? As far as I know, I should select the most this one, AP, because it waits quite a lot to so make sure that you download. I think, uh, yeah, AP, desktop, new folder, AP. Now you see, check, do not unplug the cable, make sure it's, and make sure that the cable is uh, original one. So now you have to wait, just wait, wait, wait. I think like from two, from one to up to five minutes let's say depending you don't don't care that it shows not responding it will show up then after it, it put you have to just click start and then you just wait and um, when I'll be clicking start I will not comment I will just wait once it's finished but this is the method that will work and I will show you and but anyway thank you for watching guys Okay, now it's added. You can see it should should show up like this, and the binary size is quite high. You, you will see that. And uh, but first of all, what you have to do, you have to get into download mode. So stay tuned. I will show you how to get in download mode. So make sure that you just switch off device. Okay, remove. Now we have to get to download mode. Okay, so when you in just turned off, press and hold the big speed volume up buttons and then press the power button. Okay, I will do that, but I'm um, since filming with the just a second, I will do that. Okay, so here we are in the download mode. Just click mode. 